This inner pipe is a half inch 304 stainless steel pipe, seven inches long, and the outer pipe here is a three quarter inch 304 stainless steel pipe, six inches long. I used um, stainless steel screws to attach the contacts on both the anode and cathode. I drilled and tapped a 1032 screw uh, hole inside of each pipe in order to attach the contacts and I have copper wire coming in to attach to the stainless steel contacts so I taped with electrical tape the copper contact so that it wouldn't foul the water too much. I have uh, about one gallon of water that's been heated up to about 130 degrees so that our uh, amp draw won't climb. I also have um, one and a half tablespoons of baking soda. The water is distilled water and I'll crank it up at uh, 12 amps. That's a lot of production. That's a little tiny little cell. And now I'll shut it off and um, I'll shut it off and turn it back on at 18 amps. So I'll turn it up and here it is at 18 amps. It's just ripping out of there. Really, really impressive. It, it actually looks like it's more than the cell that I have running in my car, which is a Joe cell type configuration. The gas from this cell doesn't seem as explosive as the Joe cell type gas whereas the Joe cell just explodes or implodes with extreme violence whereas this more it, it explodes but it burns I don't know why the difference I don't know why there would be a difference it doesn't make any sense but let me light a few of these off it the water's warm so it's the gas is ex escaping into the air so fast that it doesn't uh, make large bubbles on the surface of the water. And it's just water. For anybody who doubts it, uh, I'll put the match out in the water. Oh, oh whoops, it, it uh, <laughs> the bubble popped, the or blew the match out. So let's light another one and just light off a few bubbles and then we'll just dunk it dunk it right out and that's it it's just water that's all it's really coming out of there bubbles stuck all on the side. As you can see I can put my finger into the water. It's not boiling. It's not so hot that it burns me. It's only about maybe 130 degrees. As warm as really warm bath water. And then I can turn it back on again so you can see the production start. There it goes. Look at that just rip out of there. Unbelievable, really. It's such a tiny little cell. I just have some wire ties as spacers to keep the two pipes apart. I just got lucky that they just so happened to be the right thickness that I could wedge them in at um, you know certain intervals so that the pipe would stay apart. And that's it. You can see it from the from the top angle here.
And that's my latest experiment. I'll be back with something else, I'm sure, maybe with some volume testing. <laughs>